Hey guys, Mr. B here again. Um, bringing you another lovely math video. This one on um, a uh, pretty straightforward topic of taking the square root of a fraction. And I should say perfect square root of a fraction because this one is just on perfect squares. I have another video on how we approximate uh, square roots of fractions if you want to check that one out. Um, so taking the square root of a fraction, one of the things you need to know is sort of your list of perfect squares. So I mean, if you're uh, doing, you know, grade 8, 9 math, you probably have an idea of most of the perfect squares right now. So like 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, and so on. So they go on, and all you have to do, of course, to find any perfect square is just 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, so on and so forth. So if you're ever stuck, I mean, they're not hard to find. You just got to multiply the two numbers. Um, so finding the square root of fractions is really no different than finding the square root of one of these guys. So we know like the square root of 36 is equal to 6. So really, if you know that, knowing your perfect squares and finding the square root of fractions is actually pretty simple. So start you off here at 1, square root of 1 over 16. So what we need to remember to do is we just take the square root of the top number, we take the square root of the bottom number. Square root of 1, of course, is 1. Square root of 16 is 4. And there you have it. There's our square root of 1 over 16 is equal to 1 over 4. Now you can make it a little bit more complicated by adding two perfect, well, you know, having not 1 there. So we have the square root of 9. So what's the square root of 9? What's the square root of 49? So that becomes 3 over 7. So yeah, there it is. The square root of 9 over 49 is, whoops, I keep doing that, 3 over 7. Now this last example is a special case where it sort of looks like I don't have two perfect squares, right? 8 is not a perfect square, and 50 isn't either. But one thing I always tell my students, if you're asked to find the square root of something, make sure that the fraction is reduced down. So uh, you want to find it in simplest terms. So if you look at this one, these are both divisible by 2. So if I divide both of them by 2, 8 over 50, divide by 2, divide by 2, oh, that's too messy. divide by 2, divide by 2, so it becomes, of course, 4 over 25. So Really, taking the square root of 8 over 50 is the same as taking the square root of 4 over 25. So now we can do exactly what we did in the last one. Square root of 4 over square root of 25. So that equals 2 over 5. So the square root of 8 over 50 is 2 over 5. Now, I've, I've asked questions like this on tests many, many times before where I have non-perfect squares where you just, you just have to reduce the fraction to get the perfect square. And students always, I shouldn't say always, but students who get them wrong usually always um, just approximate the square root. So, you know, 8, you'd approximate that, and then approximate 50, and then leave it as a decimal. So, I mean, the square root of 8 would approximately be 2.9, and square root of 50 would approximately be 7.1 or something like that. And they leave it like that. So... Um, I mean, you really need to think about reducing down your square roots. That's one thing I would always tell my students to check. Alright guys, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll see you guys in class. Good luck.